everyone, it's Diane and this is the Angel Hug for Wednesday the 15th of May and um, I'm just shuffling the secret language of colour cards. We've been looking at gratitude this week and I just want to say before I carry on, um, post your comments about what you're grateful for. I think that would be a really nice thing to share because I've noticed that when we do the sharings, um, when we did the recent sharing on the oracle cards that, that people like, there was a really nice uh, raising of the frequency of that whole, there's something about connection, there's something about sharing ideas that seems to have a really nice frequency to it. So if we all kind of start a little bit of a gratitude pull, just, just say one thing that you're grateful for under the video and we'll just see what we're all saying okay find richness in the dark night well that's kind of really really um it's spelling it out that even when things are bleak there is still always something to be grateful for even if and i know it's not going to sound great if you're in this place even if you are grateful for that bleak place because it's sometimes only when we get into the really dark space within us or in our lives that we begin to see what's really important, that we begin to get a really clear perspective on the light. It's like that expression, the, the blacker the night, the brighter the stars, the darker the night, the, the brighter the stars. And there are times when we do have to switch off all of the external light so that we can find the inner light. And I know that for those of you who are shining now, who are really coming into your beingness, who are really beginning to walk your path and share your messages, I know you've all been here. And um, for anyone who is here now, really, I know it's not easy to say find gratitude in that. I honestly know that. Um, and if you can't, if you can't get into that space, then don't. Just go into the space that you're in and really feel your way through it. But know this, it will get better. You will not always be here. And this shall pass, as they say, this too shall pass. No one stays here forever. One thing that's certain, absolutely certain in this life is change. So wherever you are now, if you happen to be here, just know that it will change. And if you're going through anything that's a minor turmoil, anything that feels a little bit like, well, you know, it looks great, it all looks great. We've been through the shift and it seems as if everything should be going great. And so many other people seem to have things going great for them. And what the heck happened to me? Did I miss the shift? What happened? Did I, where was I? Was I sleeping? How long was I, how long was I sleeping? Well, you weren't sleeping, you didn't miss anything. The shift is a process, ascension is a process, and we're all going through different things at different times. And it continues, it continues. So if you're in this place, I'm just gonna say to you, um, find gratitude somewhere within you, and if you can't, then just be in that space but know that it is a part of a process that is leading to something better ultimately. And I'm gonna give you another card. Okay, so we've got gray, which is, um, it's kind of on a similar frequency, except this is the way out. It's a little bit like, you know, when we say depression, we say often in healing that depression is like a, a, a the flip side of anger. It's repressed anger. It's anger that we don't feel able to express. Well, there's the dark night, and then there's the way of looking into the body and releasing some of the things that are actually causing us to be there. So there's the the, the issue and then there's the cure so they and they're they're often side by side sometimes when we get really really down what we actually need is to get a bit angry and to get it out to get it out into the open and release it and sometimes when we're in that really dark space what we actually need is to really really learn how to scan our energy field and release that darkness so even that is teaching us something we're always learning something so I have to just remind everyone that if you do feel that you're in a place that it's hard to get yourself out of and it doesn't feel natural it feels as if it's sort of come across come up over you quite suddenly then it's quite possible that it's not you that you're picking up someone else's energy or some of this energy that's being released or it, if it's coming from within you it's possible that it's stuff that's just coming up to the surface now because so much stuff is coming up to the surface to be released for a lot of people so 
close your eyes, go into a meditation, use any of the tools that you have to clear your energy, look through your energy field, look through each energy center and look through your aura as well and ask Archangel Michael to come really, really close to you and to release anything from within your energy field that does not serve you now, anything that's bringing you down. You can be very specific and you can say, please release any burdens that are making me feel low, anything that's making me feel tired, anything that's making me feel fearful, anything that's making me suddenly feel I can't do what I need to do. Just be specific and go through each one and ask Archangel Michael, ask in full faith and the angels will help. This is something that I've been reminded of recently as well. And um, I just really want to leave you with that for Wednesday. Sorry if it seems like a bit of a, a, a downer one, but you know, we're all going through all kinds of different phases and this is all a part of the rich tapestry street as they say so have a great Wednesday everyone and I'll be back tomorrow with something possibly more colorful and if not we'll just flow with it anyway thanks for listening bye